people don't even know about, even though his life ended nearly 40 years ago. But is Alfalfa still around? That's what some think. Here's tonight's Hollywood mystery. It happened in this house down this hallway where Rosa Davis says he died. Bullet hole is right here. Carl Switzer was killed when a bullet tore through his stomach. A coroner's report called the shooting justifiable homicide. But what led up to this doorway and his death on January 21st, 1959, actually began 24 years earlier. Hey, mister, where's the express office? Inside. <laughs> when a skinny kid with a straight-up colic and a scratchy voice became an overnight star. Carl Alfalfa Switzer was the sweet, innocent, good kid in Hal Roach's Our Gang series. But off-screen, his closest friend, Tommy Butch Bond, says Alfalfa was anything but sweet. If he liked you, he loved you. If he didn't like you, he hated you. And that's the way he was, and he didn't like very many people. Unfortunately, uh, his short temper, and he did have one, uh, led to his demise. That demise began when the Our Gang series ended. Alfalfa outgrew his role and was cut from the series. He wasn't a cute child star anymore. He was a struggling actor, landing only bit parts. The Snake Bite Saloon. Wow! He tried to make a living tending bar and acting as a hunting guide. And on the night he walked up to this Los Angeles house, his anger was raging. Carl Alfalfa Switzer was about to die over a mere $50. He died by selling one of his bloodhounds to some guy for 50 bucks. The guy didn't pay him. So he went to the guy's house to collect the money, and the guy looked at him and says, take a hike. And Alfie pulled a knife. The guy pulled a gun and DOA. Died over a dog. Yeah. On January 22, 1959, even news of Alfalfa's slaying did not put him back in the headlines. Dead at 77, Cecil B. DeMille. That morning, the world was learning of the death of famed director Cecil B. DeMille. Switzer's death was barely noticed. For many years, his fans didn't even know he was gone. Maybe that's why Rosa Davis believes he still comes back to her house, still searching for the $50 that was never repaid. But seriously, there's been no sightings of Alfalfa. No, but he does strange things. He moves things from one place to another and slams doors when the wind isn't blowing. Ironically, if he would have lived, Alfalfa would have found true success. The R Gang series is now bigger in reruns than it ever was during its heyday. That $50 kept Carl Alfalfa Switzer from finding out just how big he would become. I would just love to have him back again to say, look what people think of us today. Aren't you happy? Doesn't that make you proud that we did something that people are going to remember forever? Tommy Vaughn tells me Alfalfa actually thought he had a good voice. Didn't realize everyone was laughing at that scratchy sound until long after the series was underway. That voice continues to sell millions of copies of Little Rascals episodes on video. We'll never forget it. No. Never forget it. Thank you.